Well, folks, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have interviewed yet another candidate for their vacant offensive coordinator position. This time, it is Seattle Seahawks quarterbacks coach Dave Canales, who is 41 years old and has been with the Seahawks going all the way back to 2010. So he has been a coach at the NFL level for a good long while as I said he currently serves as the quarterbacks coach with the Seattle Seahawks a lot of people are very familiar with what Geno Smith did this previous season put up the absolute best numbers of his entire career and even going back further than that you gotta remember all of the years in which Russell Wilson did some fantastic stuff with the Seahawks and as soon as he leaves that system goes over to Denver he struggles mightily so how much did Dave Canales play a role into the development and the overall success of guys like Russell Wilson and like Geno Smith. Well, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers seem to think, you know, at least somewhat Dave Canales played a role in that, which is why they feel he is a good interview, a good candidate for this offensive coordinator position. And much like in the case of guys like Clint Kubiak, Keenan McCardell, and some of the other guys like uh, Dan Pitcher, one of the top guys, in my opinion, on the Buccaneers OC candidates board right now, Dave Canales has not called plays at an NFL level or even at a college level in terms of being an offensive play caller, an offensive coordinator. He did have experience in 2004 and 2005 as an offensive coordinator for Carson High School in California, which is where Dave Canales actually went to high school. So that's cool, right? But aside from that, aside from calling plays as an offensive coordinator at the high school level, that's it. Dave Canales does have... Uh, no prior or other experience as an offensive play caller or an offensive coordinator. But much like in the case of Dan Pitcher, who I'm very much high on in terms of the OC candidates, I think that Dave Canales definitely has a good amount of things to his resume that are positive, right? You look at the quarterback's coach work that he has done. He was a wide receivers coach as well. He was a pass game coordinator. So, he has worn a lot of hats over there in Seattle. The Seahawks have had good wide receivers throughout the 2010s and the 2020s. They've had great quarterback play throughout the 2010s and the 2020s. And Dave Canales has been a part of both of those groups' success in recent years. From 2010 to 2017, he was the wide receivers coach. They've had good wide receivers. From 2018 to 2022, or to the present day, I guess I should say, Dave Canales was the quarterback's coach, the passing game coordinator, then the quarterback's coach again. He was in those rooms, and all those guys that were a part of that system were playing some pretty good football. So, so I think that Dave Canales is not a bad candidate. In fact, when I saw him and I did some research on him, I thought, okay, yeah, this is actually maybe shaping, shaping up to be one of my more favorite candidates that are out there right now. Because of the track record that Dave Canales has, I am willing to overlook a little bit the lack of play calling that he has in his resume. And I will say that is a very big thing to consider. I've said it before, I'll say it again. The Bucks may very well be looking for a guy who has play calling experience before, but they haven't interviewed a ton of guys with those types of credentials. They have interviewed mainly, I would say 75, 25, or maybe 60, 40 is the fair split. 60% of the guys that they've interviewed have not had previous call playing experience at an NFL level. And 40% of the guys, Jim Bob Cooter, Todd Munkin, some of the other guys that may be out there, those guys do. So it is interesting to see that dynamic, to see that split and what the Buccaneers are looking for. It definitely does seem like they are also trying to focus in on guys who have had success as positional coaches. Guys like Keenan McCardell with the Minnesota Vikings, Dave Canales with the Seattle Seahawks, Dan Pitcher with the Cincinnati Bengals, among some other names that have been out there. They are definitely casting a wide net and looking at a lot of different options. I guess you should, I should also say that I think Clint Kubiak has some offensive coordinator experience in the past as well. Could be wrong about that, but... 
definitely a wide net, definitely a lot of different options, and so far there have definitely been some intriguing prospects, as I said. I know a lot of people have been very high on a guy like Todd Munkin, and that's been a lot of people's names that have defaulted in their minds, but I definitely wouldn't count out a guy like a Dave Canales. They obviously like him to the point where they are giving him an interview, even though they've already interviewed a lot of other candidates. Maybe this is also something they may want to bring him along on their coaching staff as well from the Seattle Seahawks. There's there's just a lot of different things, right? There's a lot of different things that go into it, and I do think they have a pretty good group of candidates right now, and we may be seeing a decision sometime in the future regarding who this next offensive coordinator is going to be. But Dave Canales, you know, my first thought was, whoa, this is kind of late to the party, for this guy to be interviewed, but the more research I did, the more I thought, okay, hey, better late than never, because this guy does seem like a pretty decent candidate, does Dave Canales, based on all the work that he has done with the Seattle Seahawks from the 2010s and the 2020s as well in that Seahawks offense. So folks, let me know your thoughts and opinions. What do you think about Dave Canales getting an interview with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for their offensive coordinator position? What do you think about the work that he has done with guys like Russell Wilson and Geno Smith? Do you think that that kind of overlooks or can overlook some of that, or I guess I should say not some, that pure lack of play calling experience at the NFL level, or do you still feel that is going to be a major concern and you still lean on guys like a Jim Bob Cooter or a Todd Munkin or maybe a Clint Kubiak if he does have that experience because of their previous NFL play calling experience? Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions. I'd love to hear that. I think that Dave Canales, for me, he might be up there in my top three, four candidates right now with a Todd Munkin and a Dan Pitcher and uh, maybe another candidate or two in there as well. So very interested to see where all this goes, folks. Let's keep our eyes and ears open for this. But anyway, folks, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now and go Bucks.